Aquarius, welcome back. We're going to do a general read for you for October 26th to November 1st. Keep in mind this is a general read. I don't know what's going to pop out of the cards, uh, whether this is going to be a love read, a career read, or anything else like that. That said, we're going to look at your current energy, your desires, outcome, what's working for you, and that what you need to may need to be aware of. That said, Aquarius, let's dig in and see what's going on. In your current energy, we see that you're wanting, or that you're currently moving, into a more period of calm, where things are a little less bumpy. Uh, in your desires, though, uh, it looks like you've got the desire to defend what you believe in. And the outcome from this is this page of pentacles. So maybe you are defending your position and this results in sort of uh, forward movement with what you are working. Uh, what's working for you is the eight of wands. So there is progress that's happening. Uh, it could be also communication that's coming in. But what you need to be aware of is the Seven of Swords. So maybe things aren't going according to plan, or maybe somebody is trying to mess with your plans. That said, Aquarius, let's start to clarify and see what's going on. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the temperance card. So in your current energy, as things are starting to move out, or um, <laughs> not move out, but move into a calmer state, we can see that you're sort of judging what's going on within your financial life. Uh, we see that we have the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Temperance. Uh, you may need to balance uh, your thinking around this. You may need to look at all the facts. The Seven of Wands is clarified by the Fool, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, although you're defending yourself, we see that there is possibly um, something that you're jumping in sort of with both feet uh, that requires you to balance uh, how you see yourself with this Queen of Pentacles here and what's actually going on. So this seems to be heavily driven towards uh, career at this particular point. There might come an opportunity uh, that you're not aware of yet that could be coming that has you moving up from this Nine of Pentacles to more of a Queen of Pentacles. The outcome is this Page of Pentacles and it's clarified by the King of Cups, Karma, and the Five of Wands. So even though you're moving forward and you're moving up with your career and everything, um, I see that this might be some type of karmic reward for you. Uh, it could also be that there is something that is coming back, um, possibly from the past. I see this as more of being sort of a reward for the efforts that you've been putting in. Um, we can see that the seven of seven of wands is sort of toning down into the five of wands as you go forward. Um, and you need to be wise in sort of picking your battles. The Eight of Wands, let's clarify that. Page of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So there's things that's coming in for you. There is a, a quick moving energy, uh, again with this um, Eight of Wands. Uh, but there is somebody or something that's that's trying to stop you from 
or delay communication with this Page of Swords here. Um, Page of Swords is not one of my favorite cards. Um, to me, it's like this little kid with a sword that's just dangerous enough to keep you back, but not really um, that skilled at what they're doing. They're just being a little shit for base for lack of a better term. Um, you can see that we have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So there could be a love offer that's coming in because people have noticed sort of what you've been able to accomplish uh, and go through. Now this Seven of Swords, clarified by the Tower, the Star, and the Six of Wands. Um, you can see that you're going to need to be aware of things may not be going according to plan. Somebody might be sort of doing some unfair dealings behind your back. And as you look at that, it comes a moment where things become clear, even though right now they may not be. But what you're hoping for actually comes out of this. And people see uh, that you're this sort of six of wands, or they notice exactly how you dealt with this and how it moves you up sort of the corporate ladder. I want to pull three more cards for you, Aquarius, to see what else is possibly going on or advice. We have the Wheel, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Cups. There seems to be a new cycle that's coming in. And that sort of makes sense with this page of pentacles uh, that's showing up that to me that's sort of an, a new upswing uh, in your life. And there's things that you're walking away from in this, in this new start, but you're also remembering the lessons uh, of the past when things were a lot easier. That said, Aquarius, hopefully this sheds some light on what could be possibly going on for you. Thank you for stopping in, and we will check with you next time.